morning. I think I got everything. Hat, wallet, phone, keys, brain. I think I got everything I need. Monday morning, our favorite day. Because this is the first day of the week we get to go trucking. So it's a good day. It's going to be a really good day. No idea what's on the agenda for today yet, but uh, you know, we're going to get there bright and early. We're going to be ready for whatever they have for us. Brought my coffee along here. I got two, two uh, what do you call these, thermoses? That way I don't have to buy coffee. We did our budget this, uh, this weekend. <laughs> And you never really truly know how much you're spending on useless stuff until you put it all on paper and look at it and then do it on an Excel spreadsheet and then have the you know, profits and losses. I mean, my mom's an accountant. She probably does this every day uh, when she's working. But uh, for me, I had no idea how much the little things added up. I know, you guys tried to tell me. I saw your comments. I saw your comments. So I was like, you know what? Let's figure it out. Let's figure out how much useless stuff we're buying and put it all on a all on a budget spreadsheet. And whoo, oh, gonna have to make a few tweaks, a few adjustments. So brought coffee along today. I know. I'm finally listening to all of you. Uh, pat on the back, Trucker Josh. Finally listening to people. We made it. We made it. Monday is just about underway. Just about. You know, coffee is never as good when I make it as when, like, Timmy's or Starbucks makes it, but that's okay. We're just gonna deal. Deal with it. There's my old truck again. Still giving her. There's mine all the way on the side on the right. Come on there. Come on. See this? Those lights look like they're a little dim. I hope my batteries aren't dead. I didn't leave the lights on or anything. Right. The oil's good. Hey. Hey. Monday morning, there you go. Hopefully the batteries aren't dead. I don't think they would be. Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm sorry I doubted you. She's not even that grumpy this morning. Not bad. It's gonna be a good day. I said that already, it's gonna be a good week too. All right, let's uh, Let's pull the old girl out front so that we're ready when they uh, get us an assignment. All right, all right, I am excited. It's gonna be a good day. Better make sure I lock my pickup. There you go. Yeah, they work. 
They work. Woo! Oh, okay. Hot coffee. Now we're ready to go. Just need direction. Which way do I point my nose? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? Got ourselves a trailer. 412. Apparently it's got a pump on it of some kind. Gotta bring it into Winnipeg. Let's go see what we're working with. Where's my gloves? I, I hate it when I don't put them back in their rightful spot. There we go. Okay. Let's go see what we're working with here. Oh. Well, there's more than just a pump in here. <laughs> Herbie, is that you? Hauling Herbie today. <laughs> nice. Nice. Great shape and everything. Wow. Okay. Look at this thing. <laughs> I want this thing. I want to take it home. Huh. Okay, well, uh, I guess you can't see past these. There's supposed to be a pump back here somewhere. I guess it's on the back. I'm going to have to go look in the back. I'll take good care of you, Herbie. Don't worry. We'll get you to the track. Wherever you're going. Let's see if we can see in the back here without opening this whole thing. Can you see? Here, I'm going to stick you in there, right? Tell me what you see. That look like a pump? Huh. That look like a pump to you? What a pump is that? Is it right back here? Oh yeah, it's chained on right here. Okay, well, looks like she's tied down. To the office to get the paperwork I go. And off we go. So we're headed eastbound around the perimeter of Winnipeg right now on the south side. So the perimeter highway, if you're newer to my videos there, we're, we're going around Winnipeg, Manitoba, up here in Canada. We're straight north up I-29 in the US. When you go through North Dakota, you hit Canada, you keep going up that same road, it's the 75 on the Canadian side. You end up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, about an hour and a half north of the U.S. border. So now y'all know where I am. Uh, the perimeter highway is the highway that goes all the way around Winnipeg. It's a circle. We call it the perimeter. I'm on the south side headed east. Just up ahead there we'll start headed north. So you have an idea of sort of where I am. I gotta go all the way around to the north side, the northwest side. It's faster going around this way. I gotta drop off that big pump, whatever that is in the back there. It's a good day for trucking. Yeah, it's raining just a little bit, but just enough to cool you down when you're working outside. So it's like a little mist, right? Just cools you down. It's still pretty warm outside right now. I'd say it's probably about 20, 20 degrees Celsius. We're talking probably like uh, yeah, 60 Fahrenheit. 55 maybe in there so it's comfortable and after uh the hot couple of months we had in july and august uh this is really nice temperatures look at this truck big old 2500 i'd love a truck like that But that'll probably be a dream. I have lots of dreams. I gotta remember, all my dreams are just dreams. Very few of my dreams actually come true, but some of them do. Some of them do. So keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. You never know. You never know. Never give up. Never surrender. It's a construction zone. Look at that nice brand new boulevard right there that everybody is going to nail in the winter time oh that'll be fun to see all the wrecks off that hopefully no one gets hurt it's 
see on that side in the construction zone, they always have that uh, mobile speed camera. That's a cop sitting there. Taking your picture, literally. 60 kilometers an hour, folks. I don't know what they have their uh, limiter set to. Like if you go past them at 65, will they still take your picture? I'm not gonna try it, you let me know. You try it, you let me know. How fast can you go before it'll snap a picture? 10 kilometers over? Like, can you go 70 past them? Can you go 75, 15? Or is it like bang, right at 60? Somebody go try it out and let me know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't go speeding. Uh, don't go speeding, okay? I have to put that disclaimer in there. Trucker Josh did not tell you to go speeding through construction zones. We're just coming into Winnipeg here down Route 90, so we're facing south now. Guess I should turn those off. I don't think anyone in this neighborhood minds, because this is trucker neighborhood. As you can tell, trucks everywhere. You got the international dealership right there. You got the Peterbilt dealership right there with a couple of beautiful Pete's sitting out there. You got uh, Andy the Kenworth guy at Inland Kenworth, just around the corner here. I could have gone through. I could have, but no, I'm not going to. Now, what else we got? We got the truck, Maxim uh, truck and trailer shop here. We got ocean trailer rentals in this neighborhood as well. Uh, what else do we got here? There's Western Star, the truck dealership up here, uh, just down the road on the right. We got Volvo a little further down the road. You have Freightliner over here with a massive new building. Have you guys checked out their new, uh, their new sales lot yet or their new building? It's amazing, way better than their old location. I remember their old location because when I was a kid, my dad always drove Freightliners. He still does, he loves Freightliners. And he would always go to the dealership down the road here on Logan. But now they've built a whole new dealership uh, just in the northwest corner of the city here, uh, down off Inkster over that way. That's ah, a beautiful big dealership. So this is Trucker Central, the northwest corner of Winnipeg. Anything and everything to do with trucking, you can find here. Look at this guy's got two 53 foot trailers. Have any of you pulled these units before? That's something I have not done yet. I don't really have a specific interest in it, but if I was asked to do it, I would gladly do it. I'd love to try it once or twice. I don't know if I'd want to do it like every single day. It's a lot of extra work, but <laughs> I mean, if I was if I was given the assignment, I'm not going to say no. I, I, would, I would do what they asked me to do. building something over here in the international lot. Got all the dirt dug up over there. So on this corner of the city, you also have like West End Tire. That's where I bought my recaps when I had that Volvo. That's here as well. You got Cal Tire across the street here. Get your tires there, you got a Flying J, uh, Pilot Flying J. It's not a travel plaza, it's just a converted, uh, an old fuel station that's been converted, but it is a Flying J. Very small, no parking, except for bobtails. Parking is just around the corner here. Uh, here you got Pride truck sales. See what I mean? Everything to do with trucking here. I guess these are used trucks in here. Looks like mostly Freightliners. And then there's a Petro Pass up here at the lights. Uh, that's where we're gonna stop. There's parking at the Petro Pass. There's probably about 15 spots. Here's the Western Star dealership. My dad bought a truck from there once as well. I remember that. It was a beautiful, it was like a maroon colored Western Star. That was back in the late 90s. Back in the 1900s. Uh, so right here is the Petro Pass, you see? I need to grab some fuel because I was bad and didn't fuel this truck on Friday. So I gotta fuel it now and get it ready for the week. And then we're gonna go just down the road, uh, actually down this road here and drop off this pump. Green means go. Stay. You stay green. Stay. Nay, that was not very nice. That was not very nice. I was already in the intersection. Oh boy, it looks busy here. I'm gonna go 
behind this bobtail guy here. Hopefully he uh, hurries up a little bit. He's got New Brunswick plates. Long ways from home. Now he sees me back here, so. Oh, he's still gotta fuel up his passenger side. So he knows I'm here now, so hopefully he'll hurry up. Some drivers don't, and you all know, you all know, you probably all experienced this too. You, you pull in behind someone and they take a half hour in the pumps. No one knows why. But you pull in behind them, you, they see everybody's waiting, there's big long lineups, and they just take their sweet time. But hopefully that's not the case this time. Hopefully he'll, uh, it looks like he's on the ball. Should only take five minutes or so. And uh, I'm at a quarter tank already, so I'm probably gonna take about eight to nine hundred dollars worth of fuel in this truck myself. And then we'll uh, get this freight off the trailer, quickly get that unloaded, and uh, if I don't talk to you before then, I'll see you back at the yard and see what our second assignment of the day will be. Yeah, it took a while to fill. 727.6 liters, $952.43. Ouch. Man, fuel's gotten very expensive. Remember, that's Canadian dollars. Most people uh, in the US, when they hear the word dollar, they assume it's American, USD. No, that is CAD. A little bit different. bit of wiggling back and forth but I'll show you why this trailer is completely crooked on this side and I had to get pretty close on the end there and if you go on the other side here this trailer's crooked too so I figured should I line myself up with this one or the other one so I lined myself up with neither <laughs> I'll make my own tracks. Did I at least hit the cement? Probably gonna have to go back further. No, I'm on the cement. Barely, but I'm on the cement. Cement ends here. That'll be good. Changed my mind. It's not gonna be good. Uh, gotta be centered. One second. I'm just gonna roll back just six inches. Six inches. Right there. I lost a glove. Oh, it's right there. Better? There you go. Smack dab in the middle. Look at this. They're all lined up. All tucked in for night. All the kids. All in one place. Off we go. Another day behind us. It's a bit of a slow Monday. Mondays are sometimes like that. It takes a little bit to get the wheels rolling on the week. Britt's got to work late tonight. I think she'll be home oh, 
around 8 30 i think i'm not too sure well, i'm trying to get to bed earlier or as my neighbor tony says uh i'm not trying to get to bed earlier i'm not trying to leave for work earlier or trying to get up earlier you don't try to do those things either you do them or you don't so i'm getting to bed earlier i am greatest neighbor our other neighbors on the other side are great too. We have great neighbors all around us. I really, really like the spot that we have in town there. Uh, but Tony, he's retired and uh, he's British, I believe. But he's been living in Canada for quite a while. He still has that uh, that accent just a little bit. A little bit, you can tell. There's some British left in him. Nicest man you'll meet. And in the wintertime, I like to shovel his driveway for him so he doesn't have to shovel it. And uh, that's sort of how we became friends. It's good to have good neighbors. You always want to be good ter on good terms with your neighbors and respectful of your neighbors. It's another reason I take my motorcycle down to the street to point the exhaust away from our houses. It's sort of like uh, just an extra courtesy so that he's up anyway around when I'm awake. But just uh, go a bit of an extra mile to be a little respectful of the neighbors and the neighborhood. Because I can't imagine, you see these like horror stories on uh, on YouTube all the time and on TikTok of people like with these nightmare neighbors. I couldn't imagine living beside someone that I didn't get along with. I've always gotten along with my neighbors. I've always I've always made an effort. If I'm going to live beside somebody, I want to be their friend. Okay, we don't have to talk every day. We don't even have to hang out every day. I just I want to be on good terms. I want to be on a first name basis. I want to be able to, I want them to like me. I always, may, I always just try to do that. As soon as we move into a new place, I want to know who my neighbors are. I want to know what their names are. And uh, maybe have them down for a barbecue every now and then. I don't want to be that annoying neighbor that's always like in their face trying to talk to them. But, you know, just, I want them to know who I am, that they can trust me, that I'm a respectful guy, that I'm going to take care of my place, take care of my yard, that I'm going to be, that I'm going to have my eyes out in the neighborhood to make sure there's no troublemakers messing with their stuff. I'll, I'll keep an eye on things when they're not around. I'm just a, a trustworthy neighbor. I like them to know I'm a trustworthy neighbor. I want them to like me. Do any of you have any stories about your neighbors? I hope you all have neighbors that you enjoy living beside as well. But if you don't, do you have any horror stories? Those are always entertaining to listen to. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you have any crazy neighbor stories? What did they do? What happened? Minnesota plates on that SUV that just passed me. It's nice to see, nice to see those plates around again. Our borders have opened. It, it it is kind of difficult. I think we talked about this in a past video, right? It is kind of difficult to get all the right paperwork and everything to come across, but it is open. Uh, if you look into it, uh, a buddy of mine that I work with, his wife actually lives in the U.S. and they haven't been able to see each other for over a year, and uh, she's now finally able to come here and visit him. Well, I was so happy for him. He looked so happy at work. And, uh, you know, he's really excited to have her up here. And, you know, I'm excited to be able to have friends come up here and visit as well. So far as when I'm filming this, the border into the U.S. for uh, non-essential travel is still closed. But we're hoping they'll reciprocate eventually yet. And, uh, you know, let us come down there and visit too. Because I'm kind of, uh, I kind of miss them. I'd like to take a trip down to Fargo or something. I'd love to go to Sturgis Bike Rally, but I can't. Because apparently that's not essential, according to the government. I think that's essential to me. Bike rallies are essential. Everyone seems to be in a real hurry to get home today. Got these people right behind me. They backed off a little bit already, but I got my crew set. I don't care, you want to speed, be my guest, but you're not going to force me to speed, too. You're going to have to get around me, and since it's rush hour on the way home, there's so much traffic that can't pass, right? And people who want to speed get so frustrated that they aren't allowed to break the law and speed because you're in their way. They have to get home. They're going to miss their show, right? Come on, bud. There's a clearing now. Go for it. Go over. You're just going to tailgate me? Okay. Come on, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Use your signals that didn't even use their signals. There you go, you're free. I'm happy for you. Why'd you give me a dirty look? You're the one breaking the law. I'm sorry for existing. 
Sorry. The guy behind me, this pickup is the next guy. He's not following as close as the other guy was, but he's going to want to get past me too soon. I saw him passing cars behind me already like a madman. I don't know, something about the 59 Highway. If there's any cops watching me right now, hey, how's it going? Uh, and you work in this area? <laughs> so I'm just going to put it out there. I mean, I don't want to be a snitch, okay? So I'm no snitch. But if you were to monitor the 59 Highway, say, during morning rush hour and afternoon rush hour, between... I don't know, like Ildeshane and uh, St. Pierre. Ah, oh, man, I'm pretty sure you would uh, you would uh, be able to keep yourself very busy. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. Every day, there's people driving like madmen, making dangerous passes. I've seen so many close calls. People just they have to get by you. They have to get by you. And it's always on this stretch of highway here. This is I avoid this stretch of highway on my motorcycle for that reason already. Because people are so nuts. So I usually take either like the, the Trans Canada around or I take uh, uh, the lesser traveled two lane roads. This highway is just 59 highway. Just nuts. <sighs> Get all my stuff. Put it down. All right. One second, I gotta prepare myself for my rock star welcome. <clears throat> I think I'm ready. Stretch it a little bit. Okay. You ever wanna feel like a rock star? All you gotta do is come home after a day of work. It's me! It's me, I know, Archie. It's me! <laughs> See you guys. I'll sign autographs in a bit. I'll sign autographs in a bit here. <laughs> Careful, he'll bite you. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hazel. Hazel. You're, he's gonna bite you. He's, the little guy's gonna bite you. I'm so excited you're home. Just call me Rockstar Dad. You guys need to go outside or something? What? Why well, you guys want to go outside? Is that why you're waiting by the door? Where's the wiener? I'll let you guys out and I'll go find wiener, okay? So you don't trample them, you crazy horses. Wiener! Hiding. You gotta go outside too? Alright. Here you go. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hi. You're actually a little excited to see me too? Yeah, you don't treat me like a rock star like the others do though, you know. Hey Chef. Dad, come look what I did. I left something for you on the grass. Are you coming? Show me. Show me. Where is it? Where is it? Show me. It's not that impressive. Wasn't even, wasn't that even, wasn't even that big. Diesel, why are you so mad at him? They've always got to show off when I get home. They do the same thing when we have guests over. As soon as someone new comes in or if I can come home for more, they got to show off and show me how tough they are. Okay, guys, go do your business. Come on. Diesel, let him go to the bathroom. Do you mind, man? Mine. What was this? There you go. Get, get it done, man. I gotta mow the yard. Wiener, you wanna mow the lawn for me? Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I had a lot of fun today. Hope you wanna hang out again tomorrow. There'll be a new video up here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you wanna see it early, it's always up early on Patreon. The link is down below in the description. Take care, everybody. I'll see you then.